let me teach you something that i do in the night sometimes don't just worship god by lying down on the ground <clears throat> one of the ways that you worship god is to worship him in the presence of what wants your worship it's a powerful mystery i don't just worship god alone like that sometimes i carry every a representation of everything that looks like accolades we all worship together whatever wants my worship must join me in worshiping god that is one of the ways to overcome the temptation of worshiping things so if it is your wallet i'm not saying idolize it your id card your promotion letter don't lie down and leave it on the table lie down with it lord this is what you have done for me and someone is calling you and saying you are now the ceo tell them wait but you are wasting time this is how i became the ceo please Yabone nakao Sujada ne nakao Sirkin salama Can I tell you this? Let me give you an assignment by God. Every home and every individual try to take at least a day in this week. If you can't do it with your family, do it alone this busy busy hustling going up and down trying to do this you sit down in someone the front of someone's office from morning till night and then they drive you again come back listen 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 sometimes we need to go back and just worship we are a people of prayer but we must also be a people of worship it is not just prayer alone learn worship if you can't sing let something sing for you that's the importance of technology give technology the assignment to sing for you and join you as you worship your maker and you bow before him and say lord it is because of you i am here and while you are saying it your wallet is hearing your atm is hearing you force them to join in that worship and god says this is for me now let me do for you what you cannot do for yourself you are done with that worship you pick up your phone and see missed calls and text messages and you are wondering this man i've been trying to call believe what i'm teaching you i will not waste your time this night these are these are mysteries you want to command results that will preach to a territory next sunday's miracle service People are coming with all kinds of burdens. I'm not a herbalist. How in the world do you think you are going to touch people and pray from here and people all over the world get healed, get blessed? Let me tell you, after I'm done praying, this ground is a blessing. You roll there and say, oh God, who but you is able to heal and bless and help and lift? And in that atmosphere of worship, that Shekinah just comes to mantle you. And it's like electricity from head to toe and head to toe. And there are all kinds of impartations. Yours is just to stay there. You come out of that atmosphere, the only thing that comes from you is fire from head to toe. Preachers, I'm not, I'm not, you can't sit down and watch a movie by morning and quickly just get up and take your bath and come for a miracle service and say, after all, is Jesus doing it? Did you tell him you know he's the one doing it? I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made. And all that has taken my heart, Lord, I will bow to you, to no other God but you. We have to rush. Please sit down. Key number one that has stopped believers 
from experiencing the mighty hand of God over dependence on the strength of the flesh. If most people will pray and study their Bible and worship one tenth with one tenth of the passion they used to run around humans for help, they will not be in the same position there. Can I tell you? Everything you get minus God will kill you. No matter how important it is to you, if you have to drop God to get it, it's only a matter of time. Yeshua Hamashiach Yeshua Everything belongs to you. Belongs to you. Fathers, don't go to your house and bully your wives and children and say, Listen, I built this house. If I were stupid, this house would not be built. God says, Ah, okay, maintain it. children i'm the one taking care of the parents don't talk to me anyhow it's my money i can stop sponsoring you and you wake up by morning and that hand that you used to lift against your parents because of what you are giving does not lift again and god says heal yourself there is nothing as ugly as self-righteousness trying to believe that it is just it is just by merit it is true that there is a price for these dimensions but can i tell you the truth we have to let the world know you see the regions that have rejected jesus for technology this is not the first time men are rejecting jesus for other things they rejected jesus and chose barabbas if people can reject jesus and choose crime only god knows what else they can reject him for crucify him they said give us barabbas we know he's a thief but we choose him to jesus people have chosen technology to jesus people have chosen education to jesus people have chosen the philosophies of men to jesus and you see the catastrophe that is happening around the world today because by the strength of man shall no man prevail this earth is old everybody is a tenant some people came and passed for us to be here they passed and they left their lessons of wisdom or foolishness they left it behind there is the god who is the monarch of the universe we must return back to acknowledging jesus publicly directly number two What is the second reason why believers are not able to experience mighty works? Remember what we are dealing with, the witness of mighty works. That when you want to command salvation over territories, there needs to be levels of results from your life. And that the first reason why we do not have the mighty works that can witness, can preach, to the territory is because of over dependence on the strength of the flesh you go and read about your country someone can be in his room just crying and say Lord this is not self-condemnation I hope you understand what I'm teaching you carry everything when go and learn the mystery of the worship of the elders the 24 elders did they have to remove their crowns to worship why didn't they worship with their crowns i thought the most important part of worship is your knees go and learn from them your knees are useless until your crown is on the ground many of us are kneeling down with our crown and god is saying so who is king now We 
we pray that God will raise extremely successful people who will teach the nations dependence. That when people are asking you and say, how did you build this thing? You can tell them all the principles and then wrap up by saying, can I tell you, there are gaps in this equation that even me, I don't know the answer. I just know that one plus one was there. Wisdom plus divine direction plus relationships plus diligence plus discipline plus God equal to my answer. Many times people try to ask me the secrets of this, the secrets of that, and I share with them principles. I share with you principles. But from the beginning to the end of my sharing, I can tell you that there are gaps in our knowledge that only the size of God can fill. Preacher, you will not build a church just by principles. You can be the most sincere person with character and integrity and nobody will still come to your church. You can preach truth, heaven, hell, rapture, doctrine with soundness of scripture and remain there as if God did not call you. I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty you're the king of kings and lord of lords you are the king you are the Lord your royal majesty listen 